in here, I surrounded it by rocks to help hold it down. There we go. We're all, they're they're all excited to get out. Mm -hmm. They're all excited. That is correct. They're going crazy in there. This is kind of like a big move for I them. Bet you it's, there's a party. That's right. It is pretty cold on my forearm right it's now. It's like the movie home. Is it freezing? Home. I'm guessing that the ones that aren't moving very fast are going to be all curious. Okay. So, the fish, when I let the elvins out, they're going to want to go down into the gravel. And well, that's, not all of them. they play hide and seek at that point and they will stay down in there Until and why them? do you think the oh, elvins would want to hide in the so, gravel? Why wouldn't they want to be swimming up or sitting on top of the rocks right now? Because they're not adults? Well that's right, they're not adults but they are very small and if they were in the real stream what would, go after what them? would be things they would have to Other worry fish. about? Other fish, that's right, so things so that might eat them predators exactly and so we want to make sure that it's natural instinct for the elvins to want to hide they're because they're since they the have their survival. food with them in their yolk sac they don't need to feed and therefore they don't need to swim around so they hide in the gravel they've got their food with them so they're safe and they're fed and that way they're happy and then as they get older and they start to look for food, then they will start to swim up into the water column. And that's when we will see them again, and that's closer to when we let them go. So at this point, what I've done is I've taken those two big silver bolts out. So now it's just like a sandwich. So I've sort of tilted a bit, so can everybody kind of see? I can, I can. Okay, we'll put the video on after, don't worry. Yep. So, so you've all seen it, so right now, nothing's really changed since I've taken the bolts out. So I'm going to tilt it on its back. And I'm going to lift the top. And so they're sitting down. Now, some of you that are up front, do you see little things that are floating away? In the front, what do you think those might be? The little things that are floating out? They're eggs. The eggs. So those are the egg shells. And unlike a chicken, the egg shells aren't hard. They're just like skin. And so since our fish have hatched out, the little skins are floating away. And so now I'm going to slowly tilt this back upright. There's oh, I just went in a different shark. Oh, one way into okay. another. One egg. They're switching. There they go. Oh, a bunch of them are falling out. A bunch of them are falling out. Oh so my God. Are swimming. They're out there. And so, this is what we call instinct. They want to go down where they're safe. That white egg fell. And so the instinct causes them. That's right. They're curious, but they go down to the gravel. That's awesome. A white egg fell. <laughs> yeah. What happened? There's a white egg. There's a white egg. Yeah, one of the white eggs fell down. That's okay. There's two white eggs. There's another egg coming out. 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 There's another egg coming Thing, they look like they're flying. I pray. It's like, I don't want to get out of here. There's one in there. One doesn't want to come out. No. He's sleeping in today. There we go. They're hot air balloons. Okay. What are those black dots in there? The black dots that you see in the back here, yeah. those are little holes that are like vent holes. Like so there's the back of it, so it lets the water move through the little apartment building. Exactly, so they can breathe.